Because, you know, I left all my pins in there. Oh, no big deal. Okay. okay. Let's go. Hey, folks. Larry here from Larry's Fountain Pen Review. And on the other end, we have... Big Bad Brad from A.B. Rustin Relics. And let me just throw that in real quick. Ah, cover his face. Okay, yeah. So, hey, today we're going to do an interview with Mr. Brad. And we're going to get to know Mr. Brad. And you guys can get to know Mr. Brad. And uh, he's going to tell us uh, about him and A.B. Rustic Relics. How you been doing, Brad? I've been doing good. How about yourself? Man, I've been doing well, thank you. And staying very, very busy. You know, with this uh, lockdown and stuff going on. So, you know, yeah, I've got a lot of stuff to keep me entertained. That is definitely important. Days. Yeah, in fact, the other day, I, I got uh, that bookshelf right there with the hat on it. I got it all redone. I got some shelves that came in that I put in there, and I got all the inks straightened out. So, uh, about an hour and a half, and after I did that, I've got a lot of room left to put more inks in there. So. Oh, sweet. Actually, I need to do the same thing myself. My shelf needs to be redone. It's starting to get quite cluttered. Like behind me? That's cluttered. You see all that? That's cluttered. <laughs> that's cluttered. And on the right and left, that's cluttered. And in the front, that's cluttered. Down here is cluttered. Cluttered. But with good stuff. You know, good stuff. Yeah, stuff oh, exactly. we use. You know, hey, any pen enthusiast knows what we're talking about, right? Yeah. I don't care if you're ballpoint, fountain pen, gel pen, roller ball. Mechanical pencils, wooden pencils. Hey, we're all in this together. So, yeah, it's all good for me anyway. So, All right. So, Brad, let me ask you a question or ten. So, Shoot. how did you, my man, get started into pens? And how long has it been since you've been in doing what you do now? Well, it's been about seven years since I started buying and selling pens, and as soon as I started buying them, I pretty much fell in love with collecting them right off the bat. And so then I've been doing retail. Oh, I decided sound effects threw me off. I've been doing retail for about ten years, but one day I was at a hunting at a rummer sale. I stopped at a friend's house, and he told me he was looking for old pens. So I, I figured I'd keep my eye out, and one day when I was out hunting, I found a cup full of pens. I picked them up for a couple bucks each and brought them back, and I said, I got some pens. He said, well, wh what do you want for them? I said, well, you, you know pens, make me an offer. And, and one of them was just a pen missing his cap, and he offered me 50 bucks. And I, I was like, whoa, I never th thought a pen would even go for that. And... Right then, I knew something about it, and I started finding out about all the local history, because I'm from Janesville, Wisconsin, home of the Parker Pen, so, and then it's just turned into a passion. And the icon Parker Pen, yes, probably, yes, probably the best pen in the in the world. I think I I, I love them. I you know, uh, I don't do a lot of vintage, but only certain brands. I know other pen reviewers they. They get into all different kinds of uh, different brands of vintage, and that's cool. But me, only certain ones because they bring back certain memories. So you know that's that's where my head's at. So again, how long have you been doing this now? So, I've been collecting for seven years. I've been seven? doing YouTube videos for a year, and I've been doing stuff on Facebook on and off for probably around four or five years. Cool. So how long have you lived in Gainesville? Uh, most of my life. Wow. And if not Gainesville, the surrounding areas like Madison and Clinton. So these are your stomping grounds, man. This is where you grew up, right? Wow. Yeah, close in the veins here. Wow, man. Went to school there and everything. Where did you meet your wife at? Uh, I met her up in Portage. But the funny thing about the school are... Our school I went to was actually Parker High School, and it was named after Safford Parker. Oh! George Safford Parker, yep. Well, that's pretty awesome. Huh! Learn something new every day. Wow. <laughs> okay, here's one for you, though. 
Do you prefer a ballpoint pen over fountain pens? You know, we have people that yes for them, no for them. What's your thing? Well, they, each pen serves its purpose. Uh, for collecting wise, I prefer a fountain pen. Actually, in most writing experiences, I enjoy a fountain pen more. But there's amazing ballpoints. Um, I use ballpoints for drawing. <coughs> Pardon me. Um, writing checks, doing bills, stuff like that. So I don't want ink to smear. Right. Um, I use mechanical pencils for drawing. Every pen serves its purpose. Yeah, so let me get off track for a minute here. Help me out here. What makes a pen vintage? Um, usually around when it's, it's about over 20 years old. Does it make... Any there's, different? there's arguments on, on the, yeah. the line of it, you know, but in my opinion is about 20 years old. See, that's what I was thinking. Uh, and some people will say, well, uh, it's only vintage if it's, uh, if there's only so many put out. Uh, some say it's vintage if it's a certain popular brand. So maybe it's a little bit of this and that, you know, I've heard all kinds, so. I was just wondering what your take. I guess when it's an antique, it's over 40 years or yeah. 50 years to make an antique. So, because, you know, I have Parker 51 that'll blow your mind that done in the 50s. And, I mean, I'll put them up to anybody's new pen and it, it'll keep up or do better. That's how well Parker made a pen. I just, I love them. I, you know, I love well, you name it, 51s, 45s, hike, whatever, they're all in my vector. Uh, that one that y'all gave me, remember, it's still linked up on my desk. I've been using it religiously. Believe that or not? They, they make marvelous pens, all the way from their basic couple dollar ones up to the deluxe pens. They are, and they're all right great. And yeah, I mean, it's uh, I call that my workhorse pen uh, because it's a great pen. Uh, and, and so, like, you know... Uh, if you lose it, at least you don't have hundreds and hundreds of dollars in it. But, you know, if I lose it, I still freak out. My pen, my pen, where's my pen? So, uh, that's just how I am. So, uh, do you only do vintage pens? People have asked me that question. I specialize in vintage, but we sell modern also. Um, we have, I buy and sell a lot of Lamy's. I will have... Some Bics, Sharpies, paper mates. Um, not just vintage, some stuff within 10 years, some stuff brand new. And I try to keep up with what's trending. And if people want certain items, I try to get them into our store. You know, the other day you did post a, a video of you and all those beautiful pins. Remember, you put it on Facebook? Uh, with my Jotter collection. Woo, yeah. Wow! How long did it take you, man, to, 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 to get it all together? Um, it took quite a while to gather up because a lot of the stuff would get put in different areas so I could, can't store it all in one place. Um, the Jotter collection has been accumulating since I started collecting pens. Sometimes I have to sell some, which I don't like, but I try not to sell any of those ones. And... Actually, I've ordered a couple more jotters since making that video that are going to be here. So you know, I, I at one time, I a few years ago, had to sell a lot of my fabulous pens uh, to buy some new pens, which I did a video and they, they got stolen. But those pens I missed so much, I, I was able to buy one back, one of my Deltas back. Oh. I'll never sell it again. But I, I, I've been slowly but surely trying to buy some of the pins I sew back. And and they're new, so... But, you know, uh, some are mid-range price, but pins I like to use. But So, I tend to do that every now and then. Do you, by chance... And they're not always easy to find again, either. You know, sometimes you get rid of them, you can't find them again. That's the problem. Yeah, on this certain mm -hmm. one... Uh, I I did find two or three of them. But man, the price was way, way, just way up there. What? And a good thing that 
this pen I had, I sold it to a friend of mine, Troy. So he's a pen reviewer too. And so he, he let me have it at, at the okay. great deal. I gave it to him. So it was like, wash the other hand. So thank God for that, man. Whoa. So it's back home. Oh, kicking. So I was glad. Now, here's a good one here for you. Do you, and I do this a lot. Do you use mechanical pen, uh, mechanical uh, pencils a lot? Uh, do you use gel pens or do you use felt tip pens or you just use whatever you pick up? Um, it mostly depends on the task. If I'm out running all of it, I usually keep a ballpoint on me. Sometimes a fountain pen depending on what I'm doing, but I don't want to mess up my nice pens out on the go. Um, pens I collect, a lot of times I don't even ink them. I, I leave them, I like to keep them pristine. Yeah. Um, I'll keep, put them in a case. Sometimes I'll leave them in the boxes. But for mechanical pencils, I use them and abuse them unless there's something real special, you know? See, like same, the with the, same with the gel pen. I'll, I'll beat up a gel pen. But, like, if it's a nice pen, I want to take better care of it, use it for certain occasions. Like like here at the desk in the pen room, uh, I have all my pens that I'm using, writing letters and stuff on the desk in the den, but, you know, I, I sometimes keep fountain pens here and I use them, but if I don't, I always have ballpoint pens, and I always have two ballpoint pens, because I'm either on one side or the other side writing, and they're, the only ones I use is Parker, <laughs> so, for uh, real, that, yeah. that's a God's truth, this, this is it, I mean, uh, people may not get it, but uh, Parker just rocks, I mean, it's, People need to feel this. I mean, it's it's not just a pen. It's an icon. It's a, it's a pen that's been around like a dinosaur. It's just a great pen, a great writer. I mean, I just like them. I mean, no, yeah, not a high dollar, not a high end ballpoint pen. It's just an everyday ballpoint. But I like it. So and they have they're known worldwide by their clip alone. Yeah, that's they're they're a great pen, man. So you know, I'm really into Parker's. Yeah, pa, you Actually, know, speak. Parker is my number one. Yeah, I agree there for sure. Yeah, I've got to go ahead and say that. The jotter, speaking of the jotter, these are three of the jotters we're going to be giving away in our giveaway for our hundredth video on our channel. So if anybody wants a chance to win them. Make sure to come over to AB Rustic Relics and check that out. Okay, let's talk about that for a minute. Okay, folks, you heard it first right here. Okay, from me, a.k.a. the pin bug guy. Eh. All right, all right, my man, tell the folks real quick about this giveaway you're doing because they need to get in on the deal, okay? It's free, so check out Brad. Brad, it's all yours. Tell them about this giveaway. Uh, yeah, we just uh, had our 100th video on AB Rustic Relics, and I share my Parker Jotter collection. And to share the love, we're giving away three Parker Jotters, and all you have to do is subscribe, like the video, and let us know which was your favorite pen in the video. And it's as simple as that. Two weeks from now, we're going to draw a winner. And sorry to tell you, it's for USA only, but we're you have a chance to win a Jotter, and we'll get it right out to you so you can... Enjoy them too. Okay, so again, let's do it again. So make sure we don't miss anything. So make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and in the comments, let me know what jotter was your favorite from the video. So they, they, all right, so uh, they need to go on Facebook, right? On YouTube. On YouTube. Okay, so YouTube. Okay, not Facebook, but on YouTube. But if you just want to check out his site, you can go right over here and you can find yeah, it. Feel free to like it there too. I don't. I won't complain. Yeah. <laughs> Not here. So anyway, so this is a time. It's free. No charge to you. Free, free, free. I don't care if it was a pencil. It's cool. I, I'd be on it like that. Uh, so, okay. So hopefully you'll get some people like, wow, well, you know what? Free. That's a magic word. Free. <laughs> That's my free. favorite price. I love it. Free. I mean, but I never win nothing. I know it's a bummer. I know when I do giveaways, I know how they feel. And so it's like we give away and sometimes I really feel bad. I don't do this all the time. And 
it depends how much money I have available to do the shipping because it costs money, right? So, because you're buying pen. So, let's say I had 20 people let enter and only one can win. So, one person, hey! and the other people are congratulating. So, I said, I tell Mr. Announcer, well, I feel sorry for that. Let's do another giveaway and another and another. And before you know it, I'm giving away five more pins, dude. I said, like, awesome. <laughs> so, okay, that's another five or seven dollars for each one of those. And then there goes my pins. But, that adds up quick. Yeah. I, I think the shipping adds up more than the items have yeah. to have. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. Okay, well, that's cool. So, what is it? about the things you collect and sell that draws your passion. You know, we all have our passions, man. So, it, it, when you're into fountain pens or whatever it is, ballpoint pens, gel pens, mechanical pencils, etc., you have to have a passion or you wouldn't be doing it. So, what was your passion that draws you, that draws you into it? Well, I would say what draws me most into it is the community for one, um, is I've got to meet people all over the world, and we share the same love of pens, and we can talk about them. And the pens have got me to learn a lot about history, where they come from. And it's really big right here in my hometown because so many people work there. They gave their they got their livelihoods from this company, and the company treated the, them like family here. And when they left, it yeah, really changed the community. So all of that together has really brought me to the pen and then I learned the stories about the people that designed the pens and how they, they've opened up in all these different countries it's really fascinated me and that's what my passion is just the community of it and I love a, a quality experience writing, writing an instrument and the experience of using one you can't get from a, a big throwaway pen right right but you know what's you know? funny little story you know I've used big throwaway pens when I was in school, and uh, what's weird now is, I, I I think about those moments, and I wish I had one of those pens, that same exact big pen that I used, let's say in the fifth grade or sixth grade, just memories it brings back. I mean, it's the pen's not worth anything. It's the Just, nostalgia of it. Yeah, that's it. The whole nostalgia of that pen, you know. Wow, look at this. I used this pen back in the fifth grade. Or I used that same type of pen or that same type of pencil or mechanical pencil. That's just kind of, that's where I come from. I, I love it. I, it see, and I, I understand that. We actually will have people co contact us on the website. I've had people ask me for certain bics before. I might not appreciate them, but someone else right. might. So. Just like your your ballpoint pen, everybody. check out your ballpoint pen. Yeah, I'd be looking at them because all the different colors you have, the different models you have, and then and they're vintage, they're older uh, ballpoint pens or whatever pens you may have. And then you know my mind goes to wandering, just like God. I wonder who had that pen last. You know, if only that pen could talk. What a story it would tell you, the journey it's been on. You know, people was that well, just a, a ballpoint pen, man. That just twenty year old ballpoint, no big deal. It may not be a big deal to you, you know, but to me and others like me, it's a major big deal to me. That's just how we are. That's our trend of thought. You know, that's our passion, our love. So, you know, that's that's some of these times they've traveled the world. Yeah. They've changed the world. They might have they might have signed documents that have been world world changing yeah. at one point. And what is cool about a lot of your pens that they have a lot of lettering they're either from sales or uh like maybe a commercial type or whatever, there's something written on them. Like that one pen I bought from you, it's part Arabic and part, uh, it's, well, how do you say Israel? Israeli. It's Israeli, yeah, yeah. And I did a video on that and uh, uh, I broke down what they were saying in English. So that was pretty cool. I've never seen a ballpoint pen that had Israeli on it or Arabic on it writing, you know, but that one did. How, how did you find that pen? Um, actually, I was in the same predicament. I was cruising eBay, and then I ran into it. And there was a lot of them, and it fascinated me. I was like, wow, I haven't seen these colors, and I've never seen them with Hebrew on it. 
So I had to pick them up myself. I kept some for my collection, and I was like, well, I'm going to let some go, and uh, hopefully some other people like them too. So, you know, I, I, I have... I have had viewers ask me, like, okay, Larry, so you're into ballpoint pens. I'm not. Okay, cool. And he says, so why do you want more than one or two ballpoint pens of the same type? Well, okay, I'm a par I'm a Parker guy for one. He said, okay, I'm with you. And I said, well, I have a blue one. Then I have that stainless steel one. Okay. Then I have a black one. He said, okay. I said, but I like the different colors they make. The shades of yep. them are different. That's why I like to collect the ballpoint pen. He said, you, you, you probably won't use every one of them. I said, yeah, yeah, I will because I'll, I'll rotate them. I may want to use a green one today, a red one tomorrow, blue the next, you know, an orange or whatever. I feel like using Matching up, matches your outfit. Yeah. And there's some colors that they made back in the day that they don't make anymore, those colors. Now, those would be, I think, higher priced. And he said, why would they be higher price? They're just a ballpoint pen. Well, you're right. It's just a ballpoint pen, but it's not just any ballpoint pen. It's the ballpoint pen. It's a, first of all, Parker ballpoint pen. And they may not be making that color anymore. It could be gone. Or it could be hard to find. A lot of times, more rarity, limited yeah. runs, a smaller amount of... They only made it a year or two, different stuff like that often. It, it's the, price the price. uniqueness of that ballpoint pen. Yeah, if it's a, if we're yeah. talking ballpoint pen or whatever mechanical pencil, fountain pen, the uniqueness of this item that you're selling, that you have in your position that people are looking at and they're wondering, scratching their head, well, so this is what I'm trying to, to open the market up and help people to, to understand where we come from, you know, and hopefully they'll go to your site and check it out. And then don't forget that freebie. That's a main one. Here's a big one for you. Do you have a preference? Parker or Waterman? Parker all day. You know, I love all the models they made of Parker. It's my, Parker's my home. Um, but Waterman made some excellent writing. In the they did. Too, uh, <laughs> and I, you get a lot of Watermans here in Jane's last year because uh, Waterman was being produced here when Gillette and Rubbermaid yeah. actually owned Parker for a while. Exactly. They did. They sure did. So, it, it, so no. I'll, get, I'll get Watermans a lot. I get a lot of paper mates, uh, uniballs, stuff like that. Yeah. And because they were made here and the packaging were made here and stuff like that. So, you know, like mine, yeah, my, my main brand is Parker, but I do love Waterman. And I do love Schaefer. You know, yeah, they all, and Estabrook, they all kind of, those are my, kind of, some of my favorite lines. And here's one I do like. Uh, have you heard of the Weaver fountain pen? Um, Weaver wherever, or Weaver? Or Weaver? It's a, huh? Weaver. Where, wherever? No, I have a wherever. I have a Weaver. No. I have I a where, I have, I have a wherever, uh, I have about five or six of those. I have one weaver. It says on the clip, weaver. And I cannot find it anywhere on the clip, oh. weaver. Nice. No, I haven't heard of that. And a lot of people hadn't heard of it. I never heard of it. That's why I bought the pen. It said weaver, and I looked, mm, looking everywhere. No, no, I'm asking people heard of weaver. No, you mean wherever. No, weaver. No, I mean you mean where, that, that wherever. That's the fun because that's an, now you have an adventure. You have to solve where it is. You have to hunt. Yeah, so I, I showed them. I said, no, I look, look, dude. I said, look, here's a wherever. I have these. This is a weaver. Oh, wow. That's really neat, man. I said, and I know nothing about this pen. That's what's so cool. So uh, I have the pen put away in the pen drawer, and I'll never sell it unless I get a million dollars for it, and then I'll sell it. But first, I'm right. going to make sure I can't get any more because they may be worth five million. But it does <laughs> say Weaver on the clip. That's the only thing. And there on the refill, it's already worn down. You can't even make out what it okay. said on it so you know i didn't check and it has a little spring in it and everything like a regular ballpoint pen right yeah but on the clip the only thing you see on it is weaver that is cool 
Yeah, that, that's a right. novelty. So, okay, so do you ever find inks that you can buy for resale? Yes. Um, we, we have a lot of inks in our store. We have a lot of Lamy. We've actually bought out some other um, companies where they we bought wholesale from them. So we have lots of different brands of inks. We get vintage inks, and they hold up great over time, especially Parker inks hold up wonderfully over the years. We've had some Parker inks 40 years old in a ballpoint, and they still work great. And we have fountain pen inks, of course. So we, all, we always have a variety in there, and we'll even sell out empty bottles, too. Yeah. They look nice on the shelf. I think I have a couple of empty, a couple of three empty bottles. They're down there. They're... Parker Quaint, yeah, bottles. I got four of those. Yep. And, uh, right. yeah, two of them have some ink left in it. And I think I did a little review, just put a QT in it and did some swishes. And, sh and it was pretty cool. So people I have asked me. I watched that. People have asked me, are you actually going to put that ink in your pen? Yeah. I'm, I, and I'm going to soon. Yeah. I'm going to do it. Why not? I'll, as long as it I'm clean, game. Clean it out. Yeah, I'm game. So yeah, I'm gonna do. I'll do a video too, just to show them. Yep, yep. Okay, here's one. Do you find a lot of old, new stock fountain pens? Oh yeah. Um, there's a, there's a lot of former Parker Pen employees in this town, and I talk to a lot of people. And quite often, I'll get old. Uh, collections from employees and they knew the value of a, a pen because they made them for one and they knew how popular they were so they would get them um, from a, a company store or buy them to give as gifts or, and if someone gave them as a gift they'd hold on to it because they were made to last a lifetime it wasn't a pen wasn't something you threw away back right in the day. right yeah so it got passed on so people knew the value of them and so we, I get a lot of nice quality pens sometimes brand new still well, that's cool. So then, okay, let's go to this one then. Do you and your wife work together on this? We sure do. I know you do. She's, she's, she's a valuable member of the team. I know she, she is. <laughs> yeah, she's on social media with me, does YouTube videos. She, um, she's actually going to be, she was doing packages today, and then I got to go run them in later. So we always take turns and she works great. I wouldn't have it any other way. Um, so, okay, who thought of starting this business? Originally, I did most of the work, and she what she worked a regular job, and then, then eventually, she came on with me, and then we've both been doing it together. So now we can do this, sell pens, spend time with our kids. We homeschool the kids, and. Uh, they like they're learning the business right along with us. But isn't that kind of cool? Both have that same passion and love and desire to work together and doing what you both love doing. That, that that's awesome, man. It's just awesome. It's I like seeing that. You know, because sometimes you may meet an individual. Yeah, uh, I like doing this, but my my wife doesn't care for doing it. So it's just me doing it. Okay. So, but that's cool. And that, make, that makes it a little harder if you ain't got the full support of your spouse on it when you can do it together. It's almost not not even like work. If you love what you're doing, it's not it's not too bad. Now, Lily, your daughter, yeah, she made that uh, uh, that the the uh, what do you call it the poster the ad that, that you put uh, on was it on Facebook that you put it? Oh, yep. She made the digital flyer for yeah, us. There it is. Yeah, that's the words I'm looking for. Duh. Yeah, and she kicked it on that one, didn't she? Oh, she did marvelous. She's been loving doing it. She's been having her play around with uh, different apps on on the computer, and she's been having fun doing that. She loves to draw. She's very artistic. Then how often do you change out your inventory on your website? Now, here's why. Truthful with it, because people say, hey, Larry, I checked the website, and it's, it's the same as it was yesterday or last week. Where's all the new stuff? What do you tell them? Um, we, post, we post new stuff every day. Uh, not always tons of stuff, but we'll add, you know, 5, 10, 15 things on every day. And then 
if it starts to be on there for too long, we'll run the sales. So that way, we'll keep stuff moving, and they can, they, they can save a buck or two eventually if it ain't moving. Okay. So well, that's cool. Yeah, we're always posting different stuff on there, though, and we like to mix the brands up. And every once in a while, we'll have stuff that's not even pens. We'll have old jewelry, pocket knives, toys, just trying to clear out clutter from the house even, you know, but we like to keep it fresh. Okay. So, do you sell cartridges or refills for fountain pens, gel pens, and mechanical pencils? All of the above. <laughs> and where do you find these at when you go to these sales? Sometimes I all we get them at estate sales, auctions. Um, sometimes if I'm at a store, I'll do retail arbitrage. I'll see that oh they have a bit of clearance sale running. And there's a bunch of stuff really cheap. I'll buy them all up and put them online because sometimes people can't get those items where they live. So we'll make it so they can. Okay, man. So what makes your business different than from other? What makes your business different from others? The, the personal touch. Uh, you, you get to join, come right along with us learn our story, hang out with us on social media. Um, we try to share the story of the items you're getting as we get it. Um, if you follow us on social, you'll see it when we get it. You will might see it on YouTube, eBay, and we like to get you stuff that other people don't have. Okay. A unique experience. So, okay, so where can people locate your website and what's your social media uh, what social medias do you operate? All of them? Like, um, we're, we're on eBay all the time. And then we're on YouTube, Facebook, Instagram. I'm going to cover your Pinterest. face for one minute. Is that right there? Right there? Yes. All right. We're there all you. over. You're all well, over. If you want to get a hold of us, Facebook, YouTube, or eBay are the best bets. Yeah. And pretty much right off the bat. Okay. So... Okay, how can folks send you a message if they have a question? This is an important one. If they have a question about the item that they want to purchase. So they're on your website, and they're looking through your website, and they find something they want, So, but they're not sure about it. Then they ask, does a, the, the, does a ballpoint, does it write? Uh, if not, uh, do you have... A refill for it or do I buy it or how so that's the question how do um, they send messages to you to, to ask all these questions You're, the best way is just if you're on eBay already just click contact buyer and shoot any message you have my way and I'll be happy to answer it and sometimes I can't answer it and I will let you know so that way you know what's going on with this thing. So we don't always know everything, but I'll be sure to let you know that I don't know it. I'm not going to okay. trip makes... or code it. I'm going to be straightforward with you and let you know how it is. Yeah, I know. Yeah, yeah, I know, but I can tell you. So here's one that I already know what you're going to say. Do you ship outside of the U.S.? Ding, 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 ding. Yep. <laughs> so he heard that. Why do yeah. we Ship worldwide with the eBay Global Shipping Program. Now, remember that people worldwide. I've had three or four people have asked. Oh, one from India. I think I had, where was that one? Australia, Germany, and another one I forgot where. So, yes, he ships worldwide. Now, don't forget anybody that orders in-house, meaning USA, or out-of-house, meaning outside the USA, the shipping's going to take a little bit longer because of what's happened today. The deadly big virus is out there, so things aren't going uh, as normal as they used to. So if you don't get it, uh, because there's a little date that says you should get it, let's say on the 10th, and so the 10th has come and gone, and you're freaking out. Well, the reason why it shipped it's just taking a little longer to get to you. Isn't that correct? Yep. So some countries, are the, the mail slowed down a little bit. Yep. Even um, here in the U.S. All, all, the orders in, all the orders in the U.S.A., is, we always have free shipping. 
I know I have some uh, stuff coming in here in the U.S. that should have been here yesterday and hadn't got here yet. And then I, I have some uh, aloe vera coming in that uh, here, I think coming in from California, I ordered two weeks ago and still hadn't got here yet. But it's on the way. So it's something that you have to just deal with it. That's just what's happening. You know, the, yeah, the seller... Right now and they're not keeping up on their... their tracking information and stuff like that the best right now but everyone's home everyone's shopping online you can only expect them to be a little behind right now yeah yeah so you know so don't let's don't dog the sellers they do all they can to get that items to you as fast as they can once it leaves their hand you know it's now in the post office hand they have the tracking number and it's a waiting game now to get it that's how that flows i think so all right do you give any discounts on your website um yeah often we'll run sales um percent off sales sometimes we'll have sales where you buy so many items you save and then we'll also have exclusive deals on our social media or promotions through like on your page and stuff like that we'll, we'll have an incentive buy we'll, you come here and save save by picking us Okay. But yeah, we like to run different sales and promos so our customers are happy. You know, they don't always want to pay full price. I don't want to always pay full price. <laughs> I, mean, I don't. Yeah, I, you know, I there there's some pen that I will buy soon that you have, and then it says make an offer. Mm, I said, but I know a friend of mine. I don't want to make an offer. <laughs> That'd be wrong. But can I get any cheaper? I don't know. So I'm here contemplating. Mm. So he'll just say yay or nay. Okay, well, okay. So, but yeah. Oh, I, I, never hurts to make an offer with us. We love to negotiate. We're old school like that. But you have some, and they're partners I'm looking at. Yeah, I'm just like, wow. Wow, look at that one. And that one. And there's one over here and the one there. So, yeah, you'll probably be hearing from me pretty soon. I'm just not sure how I'm going to do it. You know, so, because... Well, we're, we're ready when you're ready. <laughs> yeah, I know. It, because the only thing is that uh, this is your livelihood. This is how you make your living, pay the bills. So, I want everybody to understand that this is your livelihood, right? Yep. So, it's yes, real sir. important. Yeah, I mean, you got your your your... your rent you got your utilities you've got your kids that take care of food you got all this going on so and the times are kind of rough right now with all this is happening so anything and everything helps buy something from brad okay so uh we talked about this before and i'm going to talk about it now and i'm not going to edit it how's that uh, we need to do a giveaway, you and me, uh, and figure out how and when we're going to do this. But I was kind of thinking if anybody that watches this review, uh, uh, watched uh, this video, can send you some suggestions or me on how to put this together, what would they like to see? So, but here's how it would work. I would do the buying from Brad, and Brad would do the shipping. So, how can we put all this together for it to come on eBay or from your home? Okay. But we can do it on eBay. We just got to figure out, you know, how we're going to do this. Uh, Maybe you can have certain items on eBay that you're going to be giving away from Larry's Fountain Pens. You know, that could have a choice. Pick one, two, or three. And then we could pick the winner of that and then notify you who the winner is. And uh, then you can send them if it's one, two, or three, whatever they choose. Like if it's a ballpoint, if it's a fountain pen, whatever. Does that make any okay. sense? Okay. Yeah, I'm sure we can put something good together like that. We're uh, put put together a little giveaway for our fans. I, I bet they would love that. So, but uh, that's what that's what I'm thinking. So they pay nothing out of pocket, nothing. 
uh, once you enter it, you'll let us know if you pick one, two, or three, and if your name's John, and how do you do that, mispronounce it? Uh, th Siri uh, makes random numbers. So that, that's how he does it, and uh, and then I'll let Brad know uh, so and so when it, and I'll go ahead and pay Brad through PayPal. No, is that PayPal you use on that? Yes. Okay. I'll pay Brad to PayPal and uh, even the information where to send the pen to and uh, maybe you can do a video also. Hey, the winner of so-and-so, Larry Fountain Pen, there you won blah, blah, blah. Maybe you can do a video on that too. Yeah. Sam, once we get the details, how about we both do yeah. a, a, an announcement and one of our upcoming videos, we can both give an announcement with the rules and how they could uh, win a pen from the from yeah. previous store. Yeah, so this is uh, something that's been going on in my mind, so uh, I thought I'd show everybody firsthand the first stage of the plan, how to get this giveaway started, so... First time for you to see this. Well, this is how it works. You start talking about it and thinking how we're going to do this and that and how we're going to approach it. Yeah, all that good stuff. It's just not, hey, get this ballpoint pen and we'll give it to so-and-so. All right, thank you. No, it's not that easy. So, so anyway, uh, well, before we close here, how is the weather there in Wisconsin? Uh, the weather's been nice. We've got out on a couple walks, but like as you know, you can't really enjoy it the way you want to these days. But uh, it's been going good. Um, I'd like to do some fishing here sometime soon. Oh, <laughs> really? Okay. Yeah, I, I would like to, definitely. Uh, I went out a couple times. They haven't been biting lately, so huh. I'm just ready for, the, ready for stuff to go back to normal and just be able to enjoy the summer. So right now here it's seventy four degrees and sunny here in Fort Worth, Texas. That is sweet. Yeah, I'm, jeal I'm jealous of that. <laughs> and we're going to be doing a live stream here. I think it's six p.m. today. So we got to get ready for that. So how's the wife doing and the kids? She's doing good. She's upstairs hanging out right now. Uh, the kids, the thing they're done with. Uh, Lily's done with school for the day. They're just up, upstairs playing, watching TV. Hey, before we go, what's your Easter plans? Home? <laughs> oh, man. We, we don't really do a lot for Easter, but uh, we'll probably just sit around, hang out, and maybe watch some movies or make some popcorn or something like that. No, I can go for the popcorn. Yeah, I, I can dig that. Yeah. You know, when popcorn we go to the movies, good. man, I pick out on popcorn. You know, the big old buckets. <laughs> I eat like, I can eat two by myself. And then a hot dog. Oh, love it. Well, Brad, hey, man, it's been great talking with you, and I hope the viewers get to know you more with this video, and I hope they get to know all about you and your love and your passion for what you do. Do you think you'll ever open up a store? You had one before. Uh, we, had, we had a, a booth set up at an antique mall. We do want to open a store one day, but unfortunately I don't think Janesville is going to be the location for it. Our economy, anybody that knows about Janesville, Wisconsin, our economy is not best here. Uh, one day we'd like to, but we're always expanding online. We've put a bunch of new items in our Etsy store, and we're actually about to uh, um, open up another selling app. I think it's called Macari, and it's another auction format, and we're going to start putting items on there too. Okay, real, real a little bit before I hang up here. SD, how do they find you on SD? Uh, AB Rustic Relics. Same thing. Okay. Okay. Yep. Wow. wow. And we've put, we put a bunch of new genres in there, vectors, big reds, and a few other Parker models as well. And uh, I think we have a few Lamis in there also. Okay. Cool. Well, my friend. Hey, thank you for joining me today. And uh, we got to do this again soon. If you come up Thank with any ideas, experience. let me know. All right. All right. Tell everybody I said hello, peace. Talk to you guys later, all right? Tell me. Later, my friend. Take care. We are out of here now that I've turned this thing off. Bye-bye.